Hello, this is Mike, and this is the lesson 14 on PHP programming, and we're talking about array functions, and this is part two. And in part one, we actually dealt with simple arrays, uh, social arrays, and basic array methods. And we actually looked at some important uh, methods, such as count, uh, max, min, sort, and resort. But in this particular video, we're just going to continue array methods, and we've got some very important stuff we need to talk about, and that's separated data. Comma separated data is used so much in the community. And there's two important methods you want to learn, and that's implode and explode. We'll cover those uh, as we move to Eclipse. And then working with arrays, you want to learn about pushing things onto the end and popping things off the end and shifting things onto the beginning and shifting things off of the beginning. So we'll use these four important commands here, pop, push, shift, and unshift. And finally, as a class exercise, I'm going to have you go to php.net and look at two very important functions, slice and splice. You'll often use these when you create parsers, and in your career as a PHP programmer, believe me, you're going to be creating parsers, basically things that bring in data and manipulate them and change them. And we'll talk about that as we get to the Eclipse. So let's go right now to Eclipse and start the lesson. So today's lesson is a continuation of Lesson 13, so make sure you go to Lesson 13. So we'll go to drop-down box, we'll go to Run Configurations. Make sure you browse to the lesson that you want to be on. This is Lesson 13, Part 2, Functions. Hit Apply and Run. There we go. So we're on Lesson 13 now. Let's go right to that particular section. We talked about arrays last time, uh, associative arrays, basic array methods, and we discussed uh, count, max, and min, sort, and r sort. And today we're going to be talking about comma-separated data. And as I mentioned earlier, this is so important. Many times you're going to get just uh, a string of data. It's all in basically a text string. So today we're going to concentrate on common separated data, and this is so important in the community. You will be getting data like this, and you'll need to take data and turn it into data like this. There's two methods. One will actually create a string with separated values from an array. The other will take that string and explode it, and since put it back into an array. Let's talk about implode at first. What implode does is take an array, we, like for example we have the numbers array, and it will connect it or by separating it with commas, all into a string. Now you could use anything. You could actually put an asterisk in here or you have a space in here. Whatever you put in this uh, little uh, quotes here is going to be what separates your data. Now the array that we're going to be using is a numbers array. Let's take a look at that real quick. If you pan up a little bit, the number array was 521463. But remember we did an R sort on that array, right? So when you R sort, it reverse sorts it, so it should be 6542 and 1. So I, when I run the implode method on that, I should get a string that has 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's see if that's indeed what we get. Let's run the program. I can see indeed we do get a single string, 654321 divided by commas. Now I want to explode that. I want to send it back to the array, go the opposite direction. And you can do that using the explode method. So let's take a look at that. So what you do in the explode method, you take that string that you created, and once again, you have this same scenario where whatever you is separated, you want to explode it, and then slice it up, and then split it up so that it's that comma is removed, and each one of those elements are set into an array. So I declare an array, and I just explode all these values into it. So let's see if that's indeed what happens. So when you run the code, that string, 654321, separate commas, is now stuck into an array where the zeroth key is 6, 1 is 5, 2 is 4, 3 is 3, 4 is 2, and 5 is 1. So I split everything up for me. This is extremely useful. I mean, it's very easy, very simple. But commonly used in an industry, you're going to be getting data that's separated by something that's all in just one big string. I mean, it's just human readable in that sense. And you're going to need to separate that using the explode method. And you're going to need to uh, do manipulation on it. And you may have to send it back to whoever you uh, uh, got it from in the string method again using the implode. Now, very important to work with arrays in the sense it's pushing things in and off an array. So we have this numbers array right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I want to start pushing things off and on. Now there's four important methods for doing that. If you want to work on the end of array, you use pop and push. You want to work on the beginning of array, you do shift and unshift. And so I have four methods here. I have shift and unshift, so that means what? I'm working on the front of array. So what a shift does, it's going to shift the first element out of an array. And what unshift does, it's going to prepend an element onto an array. And then you have pop. And what pop is going to do is pull the last element off the array. And then you have push, which is going to push an element onto the back of an array. And many times I'm pushing things onto the back of an array as accumulate uh, different elements. But you can use either one, and the, all these four methods run in conjunction. Let's just run the program. I want you to do a little homework here on this. I'm showing these methods very rapidly because we're going to use them in future videos. But you need to know they exist. 
So what I did in the first part is I, I popped the first value off the array, so it no longer exists. One is gone, but now you start with two. And the next value actually pushed the word or the value first, which is a string, onto the array using unshift. And then the third, I actually, in a sense, popped off the uh, last value of the array. And then the final one, I pushed a value onto the final array. So the final array has its values, has first, two, three, four, five, and last. So that's really all there is, pop, push, shift, and unshift, but very important array methods that you need to know. Go to your PHP, go to my source code, and run it and play around with these methods. You'll be using them. And I just want to cover them quickly so you know that they're there. So two last very important methods that I commonly use is slice and splice. You're going to be parsing. You're going to want to add and remove methods from your arrays. And you can do that using slice and splice. Let's take a look at our PHP documentation. So this is actually the assignment part of your course. And what I want you to do is actually go to the, uh, click on these array slice and slice splice and run these examples and learn how to work with these arrays. Basically slice, just extracts the slice of an array. Many times you just only want a piece of an array. I don't need all that other data. So you just slice it off. Or when you have splice, maybe you want to put someone else's name in for someone else's name. So you're splicing off a piece of data and splicing something back on. So uh, this slice and splice are very important methods. I want you to, do, as an assignment, to go to php.net and download these and uh, play around with them. And we'll talk about your assignments web page next time. I actually have put that together, and uh, we'll talk about these two assignments. And so go to www.php.net and get to work. Hey, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time talking about Booleans.